Welcome back to AP Macro in under 3 minutes. No time for intros, let's get into it. Before the video starts, I'd like to say this video is taken directly from my micro series. The reason for this is because the micro and macro topics are the exact same. Anyway, here you go! So we have two curves, a downward sloping demand curve and an upward sloping supply curve. If we were to put them onto one graph, we get what is known as the supply-demand model. This graph shows many concepts we'll go over in this video. The intersection points of these lines shows when the model is in equilibrium. This means when the producer will stand to gain the most profit from the willingness of consumers to buy the product. On the demand curve, if someone was willing to pay the price of $50 for the product, but they actually paid the market equilibrium of $30, the $20 in between these two is known as the consumer surplus, which is calculated by what the consumers are willing to pay minus what they actually do pay. Anything below the equilibrium point on the demand curve would not be a consumer surplus because nothing would have been bought. The consumer surplus would make a triangle on the graph, which to calculate the surplus from that, you would simply do the area formula of the triangle, one half base times height, to find the consumer surplus. The same concept applies to the supply curve. If the consumer wants to sell the product for $10 but is actually sold for $30, which is the market equilibrium, that difference of $20 is the producer surplus, which is calculated by the price sold for minus what the sellers are actually willing to sell it for. Anything above the equilibrium point on the supply curve would not be a producer surplus because nothing would have been bought. We calculate the producer surplus using the same area formula for the triangle, and the area of the producer triangle plus the area of the consumer triangle gets us our total surplus. Deadweight loss refers to the lost efficiency when markets aren't in equilibrium. On a graph, if we were to produce only one product, the total surplus is this and the deadweight loss is this. If a market is perfectly competitive, equilibrium is achieved, meaning there is no shortages or surpluses. And though this graph is used in most all markets, some markets can't use it because of imperfections like ethical concerns. Surplus happens when the price goes up, meaning the quantity demanded will decrease and the quantity supplied increases. A shortage happens when the price goes down, making the quantity demanded increase and the quantity supplied decrease. Understand that the only goal in the business world is to get a business to be at this equilibrium point. This would mean the business might force prices up or down, or might do the same to quantity just to make the graph fall on the equilibrium point. On the screen now are the shifters of demand and supply. These things are what cause the entire demand and supply curve to shift. And honestly, you kind of need to memorize them. If you are given a question like, if a piece of revolutionary technology causes swimsuits to be produced at double the rate, what will happen to the supply-demand model? The simple answer is, the supply curve would shift to the right because more swimsuits are being supplied. Okay, on the screen now are some AP-style questions for this topic. Pause now. I'll put the answers up now. I will see you in the next one.